Welcome to this week's edition of The Passion of the Digital Artist. Coming to you live from Jeff's back deck in beautiful Canton, Ohio. Here he is, the passionate digital artist himself, Jeff Mueller. Hey, Xavier, how are you? Hey, I'm great, Jeff. How you doing? Oh, super. And why are we super this week? We As if I need to ask. Beautiful weather. That it is. Yes, it's uh, Cinco de Mayo. Hey, yes, happy Cinco de Mayo out there to everyone. There's a lot to celebrate, but mainly, I started this project August 15th, and after a long time, the Cape Cod High Sky Series is finished! Woo! Woohoo! Yes, exactly. It's done. It was beautiful weather this weekend. I was able to finish the last two paintings. It went superb, and that's what we're going to cover this week. We're going to cover finishing the actual the actual finishing touches once you're finished with the paintings what you do to get them ready so that you can start telling the world about them submitting them getting them ready doing all the stuff but the main thing is is the first thing show us the lead off uh the painting of the series well this is serene marina look at that in its glory look but at I would that like to point out that once i'm finished painting on them uh the signature. Signature is very important. To play Ooh, the look at that. That's the gold pin that you've showed us before. Let's recover that a little bit for Yes, everybody. I love to use. It's an acid-free gold pen. I've seen a lot of people try and paint their signatures, but I just love to be able to sign. And I work long and hard. And once you get your signature right here, Jeff Mueller, C-A-M, I only sign originals with the C-A-M. So if you see a Jeff Mueller and there's no CM, you know it's a print. But my originals will have this computer art man and then the date, one, the year that I did it in. Now, the second part about it is, is once it's finished, I register it with, it's called myartregistry.com. Register my work with myartregistry.com. So the finished paintings are there. I'm working on getting all the paintings from the social media series registered but the Cape Cod series is there and registered and then along with that is that I purchased and there's lots of different places to purchase this but I pur purchased this certificate of authenticity and what it is is a watermarked paper as you can see and it's got a watermark I don't know if you can see that but there's a not watermark showing up real it. well but take our word for it folks there is a watermark there and then Along with that comes holograph, numbered holographs that what I do is I ba basically print out the certificate on the paper. Serene Marina, of course, it's the one I was ready and it's on the top. <laughs> Here it is. And on this particular certificate of authenticity that I include, I include the numbered holograph. Now. A number of holograph goes on the certificate for when someone buys it. And then it also goes on the back of all my originals. That so that's a guarantee. So now cool. once I've once I've issued the certificate of authenticity, I then register it at myartregistry.com with the holographic number. So the certificate is attached to the registered piece of artwork. So in the world of artwork, this exists. And, and it exists that. uniquely. That's right. the big thing. Authentically. It's an original. I, I, I register my originals and I do it this way. I do it this way specifically. And a really cool part about the, the website is that there, when you sell it, there's a place for who bought it and how much you sold it for. So that's the coolest thing. Once it's registered, although it's my copyrighted artwork and I've sold it, it's registered there and the person, so even when I'm gone and beyond time, it'll be there and people will know where my artwork is, how much it's sold for and what it's worth. So, I have a feeling that you're gonna know that it's a value to people while you're still with us. That's yes, just my I, opinion. I, I hope so. so 
the next step, and, and I'm going to cover this next week, is because I'm going to basically load these to the website. They'll be for purchase. I'm going to start promoting the whole series. So that's really, really super exciting to me because that's what we do. Is uh, I love the promotion, dealing with people, talking with people. I've got a couple of pe people already lined up that are really interested in purchasing these canvases and then I'm going to start the print process. I'm going to offer 10 limited edition signed prints reasonably priced and I will offer up to 200 non-signed canvases. But what, I, what I'm shooting for is getting the limited edition of the 10 series sold and the originals. And pointing out the non-signed canvases will just be a printout. They will not be and you know oil touched or acrylic right, right. touched All, like the only time i ever paint on anything is when i make my original everything else is printouts from the computer with no acrylic right painting. right and and the the acrylic is a one of a kind is what you just showed us correct so that's what we cover this week now there's a lot of stuff happening in the future it really seems to be going there's uh, i'm hoping for there's a couple of I'm talking to a couple people about doing some shows. Uh, I was up in a couple meetings this week. Things are really starting to happen. So getting excited in the future. Uh, on first Friday, we were talking with uh, Scott Allen Evans and he's gonna be one of our guests coming up. So we look forward to that. I, thank you everybody for all the good comments on last week's video blog. And hopefully this week we'll get the same kind of feedback, but I just wanted to cover the finishing of your artwork so that's it for this week yeah and thanks everybody all of our friends that uh, came out to see us at uh, first friday on this past friday hence the name so thank you for coming in and supporting us and again hope everybody has a good cinco de mayo and we'll see you next week see you next week